Hi, everybody. How is everyone this fine Tuesday of 2020? Is this our this is our first Tuesday of 2020, I think. Wow. Anyway, yep, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Hi, Paige. How are you doing? I was going to email you today and then I ran out of time to see how you were doing. Hello, other people. <laughs> see, four on, six on. Whoa, yeah, people are coming in. Yay. Busy crafting. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I'm going to have a couple of nonstop, well, one more, two more this week, nonstop crafting days. Hi, Karen. Thank you for joining. Hi, Donna. Hi, Nix. Yay, we're having a big crowd. Well, this is a big crowd for me. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make three cards tonight, but of course, I just have to talk about a couple fast little things. We're going to be using products primarily out of here, which is the new 2020 mini catalog. And if anybody doesn't have one and needs one, I do have some extras I can mail out. So let me know. I just would appreciate if I do that, that you'd place an order with me because it helps me with the postage and so forth. And I think one, um, I'm not sure. I think one out of here. I'm pretty sure some um, sentiments out of here. So are you excited yet? Do you know what you're ordering? Hi, Renee. So I'm anxious to use it. And then also just a reminder that the last day to order paper pumpkin for January's kit, which is I'll be yours, which is supposed to coordinate with something we're going to use tonight, which is the, I don't know which one, but maybe both one or both of these heart punch duos um, that are part of the heartfelt suite. And we're going to be using those on two cards tonight, but they're going to look very different. And, um, this one's supposed to be good for all love themed occasions like Valentine's Day, bridal showers and weddings. And it says it's beautiful. So maybe it'll also go with the little bee set in the catalog, which I've said before. I'm so glad everybody's joining in tonight. Um, one thing I just learned today is that the mini glue dots in the kit apparently had an issue and they caught it so they're putting an extra sheet or something of glue dots in everybody's kits before they ship them that's what i'm told for the january kit but other than that uh, they haven't said anything is missing or wrong or whatever and it's supposed to have 20 treat bags and 10 mini cards and envelopes and did you know you know celebration is where you um Oops. For every $50 or $100 you order, you can pick one of the items to add to your order at no additional charge. Like this one says free with $50 purchase, that kind of thing. Well, if you prepay three, six, or 12 months of paper pumpkin in the celebration period, you are entitled to celebration items with that. Not the month to month, but the prepay. So I wanted to let everybody know that. And if you have any questions on that, I can answer them um, late tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't have the pricing right here or anything, but it's, it's a good deal. I actually signed up for six months prepay. Um, I didn't really need to get more celebration items, but um, I just like the ability to do that. And then maybe sometime those extra items will be giveaways in the future. We'll see. Okay, so that is really it. And um, I think there was one drawing I had to do still, and it was for black organza speckled silver ribbon. Uh, and I'm going to have to do that next time. I'm so sorry. Uh, I think there was only one person that one or two people that commented the way they were supposed to um, on the bottom of that video. And I remember who one was. Um, hi, Clay. But um, I'm going to do things a little different in 2020. I'm not going to have drawings every week. 
I may do some random ones, but I would honestly um, rather give those items away to people who order or on my team or whatever, you know, so I can help me stay in business. <laughs> so, and uh, I do appreciate you watching though. Don't get me wrong. I just can't afford to do mailing every single week and I get behind and I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I may do, if I have all your addresses, I may do random acts because that's on my goals for this year is to do some random acts of kindness every month. So, um, yeah, don't get upset. I might still be doing some, you know, mailings out to y'all. Okay. So, are you ready? Drumroll, are you ready? Nobody's talking. Are you ready for the cards? <laughs> ready. Paige says ready. Okay. Here's card number one. So, this is on Flirty Flamingo. And it is using the Heartfelt Bundle, which is this bundle. And the bundle includes the two duos. And one is scalloped and one is not. And before I make the card, I want to show you some things about these punches and the paper. We're also going to use the stitched lace dies that were during the annual catalog along there a bundle right now with this a little lace and actually someone just sent me a card and I said the wrong stamp set they use this one this is so pretty and you'll see that in a video tomorrow okay ready set go says Karen Donna says ready Clay says ready Karen says yeah ready set go Nick says ready everybody's ready yay so I brought that in for the cover and then we're also going to be using this gorgeous designer series paper, specialty designer series paper, which is called From My Heart Specialty Designer Series Paper. And let me show you where that is in the mini. It's like the first suite in the mini catalog. It is right here. It's called From My Heart, oops, From My Heart Sweet. And there it is. So the colors in this are Real Red, Flirty Flamingo, and Whisper White. And that's it. But some of the papers are foiled, see? And I um, was playing around a little bit before I made the card. Uh, and we're also going to be using these cute doilies. This is the one in Flirty Flamingo. They're white on the back, so you, you could actually use the white also. They're called heart doilies. <laughs> um, we're going to use the real red one. That's I don't have that out. Now this, I used the scallop punch to punch out of, let me show you, sorry for the crinkling, out of this paper. Okay. These are scalloped edges, and the, heart, the scallop punch works perfectly with that. And the non-scallop punch works perfectly with these, which we're going to do right now. And then the stamp set, you can stamp these. This is real red on Flirty Flamingo. This is real red on Whisper White. This is Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo and Flirty Flamingo on White. I like, I like that one. And then this is actually the this little dotted line stitched heart. But then there's not a die for the, uh, not a punch for this one or a die. Um, and it doesn't quite line up with last year's and in, in the annual catalog B mine stitched B mine uh, dies, but we still have them available and we're going to use one piece out of those tonight. Um, so I stamped them in the middle of the dotted line one and in flirty flamingo and real red and then punched them with the regular non-scalped punch so lots of options it also has this arrow these are photopolymer um the sentiments love you lots we're going to actually use that on the card we're going to make tonight even though the first one actually is a birthday card roses are red violets are blue so lucky to have a friend like you being friends is better than eating candy but let's do that too i should have had that ready for my friend sue yesterday and happy Valentine's Day. Oh, and then um, 
on this paper, there's little hearts and the other paper too. Uh, there's no die for them either, but if you have the retired three quarter inch pa uh, circle punch, this will, that's what I used here. And it might work with a half inch circle, which is available, but I don't have it. So anyway, so let's punch this out and then we'll get making it and um, kind of see which stamps that I used. I think it was Peaceful Thoughts. Hang on. Peaceful Moments, excuse me. Yeah, we're going to use this happy birthday in the second card. So, all right, let's punch this out first. So, and well, let me explain this first. Um, you can see this card is an, it's an A2, which is 11 by four and a quarter. Yeah, it is, Philomene. It's really pretty. Thanks, Nix. It is. I love it, too. I'm a heart. I like hearts, hearts and stars. My daughters always love hearts and stars. My fingers look dirty, but they're very clean. <laughs> they're just stained. Um, so this background is the stitched lace that I mentioned a minute ago. Stitched lace eyes. Yep. And what I did is I just did tone on tone, flirty flamingo. But before that, I took this end and I used this die which is out of the Stitched Be Mine um, hearts, which I'll find here in a second. I buried them. And these are, these are in the annual catalog. So this is the only thing I used from here. Um, but what I did is I took a ruler and I went like, oops, I didn't go like that, <laughs> I hope. I went like this and I penciled half an inch up and then I put the solid line, well, this way, half an inch up. Now I did have to use purple tape instead of a sticky note or maybe washi tape would work too. I really don't like using this because it actually does tear the paper if you're not careful when you because when it goes through the machine it pushes it into the paper and I had to be really careful lifting it off it did tear a little bit but it luckily it tore on the piece that came off not the part up here so that is out of the stitched be mine dies that are in the annual catalog which is still available if you love hearts <laughs> I love hearts I love that set too oh gosh Sorry. Unknown call. Should have turned that down. Forgot to do that. Anyway, so I did that first and cut it up about half an inch, roughly. You know, this this line here, I don't know if you can see that. There's a, a line here. And that is at the half inch mark. Okay. Then this is four and a half inches high by I think. Oh, hang on. I have it written down. Four and a half inches by three and seven eighths inches. So, okay. Now, let me get pieces up here. And then these are just punched pieces. The doily. This is a um, one of the square dies. It's the largest one in the the regular square, what are they called? Hmm. Here they are. <laughs> they are called the layering, layering squares. They're not called framelits anymore, but I have the framelits. And it's the largest one. So that would be this one here. Okay. So that's what I used for the background piece. So I have a lot going on here. And then these are the stitched rectangle dies. And those are these two, the smallest two pieces. This is the white one. And then this is the uh, uh, real red. Okay. So let's all that businessy stuff done. Let's um, cut out a heart and let's get moving here. So we're going to use the smooth heart and I cut this paper so that I could get into it. And you just want to line your two points up really. 
I think I'm over a little bit. There we go. It's beautiful. It's flirty flamingo and real red foil on that. You love it. Yeah, me too. And then I have all the other pieces in my little basket here. We're going to, let me put these away because they're in the way. Um, we're going to, now this one I had already pre-punched out of a different paper, designer paper. It's um, Flirty Flamingo Foil. And I just glued this around onto there like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I feel like I'm jumping all over the place. So if it's too jumpy, let me know, please. And I'll try and... I'm a little nervous because it's been a while since I've done a live. And also, I feel a little rushed because we have to go somewhere after this is over. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. Ooh, I just bent it. Oh, no. Okay, so that's that piece. I already did the rectangle. Okay, now this piece here is the back of, I believe this piece, but it was going this way. Yep. So I had a different sheet and I already cut that. Now, when I cut this piece, I had it the right size, but, um, well, I started with the right size and much longer piece. I cut it too short, but we're going to, we're going to work with it. So it's a little shorter than the other one and that's okay. So I think that's enough to start with. And we have a red doily heart. These are so cute. I love them. Love them, love them. So let's assemble by the magic of video. <laughs> so the first thing that goes down, actually the first thing I did is glue this onto here. Okay. And I'm going to get my fine tip gluey bottle. Hi, Brandy. Hope you had a good day. Oh, gosh, guys. It's supposed to um, start snowing here. Right around 5 o'clock. And first they said an inch. And now they're saying up to 3. But maybe mixed with rain, which means it'll be freezing rain because... And three inches isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But, of course, it's on the night. We have to go out somewhere. <laughs> My son's usually at work, but he took off because this is really uh, about his best friend's family. So, anyway. Okay, I had that just hanging over just a tad, so I wanted to cut that off. Um, now, before I put this on, um, what I also did is I took another piece of this paper and it is about five eighths inch wide this way but how I did it is I just looked at three basically three rows of hearts because I needed enough to show here and then go up a little bit so that was my idea but um I think this one might be just a tad wider than the other because you see and this is about five inches because here I cut the tippy tops of the heart off and there I didn't. So it's just slightly wider. I think we'll glue that, that down first just so I don't lose track of what I was doing. Ah, what fun. I did get a few groceries while I was out gallivanting around yesterday. Um, tomorrow... You'll have two videos even while I'm crafting and one will be thrift shopping hauls. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get some because yesterday my friend Sue and I went and had breakfast um, at a smorgasbord. The Mennonites run around, you know, it's, it's a little bit a ways. And then up that way, there's all these um, thrift shops and... Um, what they call bumps and bruises, grocery stores and stuff like that. So we did go in and there's a regular grocery store too, which we went to first because they have some stuff you can't get down here and pre prepared foods and everything. And my mom wanted something. Unfortunately, 
they didn't have it finished being made and then they finished it and then they brought it out and it didn't look right to me. And I'm like, I don't think I'll get that today. <laughs> so, but I did get a couple things there. They have good produce and stuff. And, um, and then we went to their version of a, like a Target or a Walmart kind of store. It's called Goods. And then we went to two thrift shops and then we went to the bumps and bruises discount grocery store so all right i'm gonna put this um actually yes i'm gonna put this down about the same place from the bottom because i want room for my one heart up there so this is the stitched lace dies and then the other video i started to say is going to be more happy mail i got <laughs> For Christmas and for birthday. So yeah, I'm older now. Eeks. It's funny when I was I was just grabbing a bite to eat before I came on here and there was a show. It was uh I don't usually turn the TV on, but my computer was up here. Anyway, it's a it was uh Rachel Ray and she had on the Miss Senior USA pageant. <laughs> my feet hurt yesterday too. <laughs> oh, gosh yeah yeah but it was fun it was fun i mean you have to drive from one place to the other so you get to sit down a little bit okay we're gonna do this next and then we'll put our square down i love these heart doilies they're cute they're but they're petite little hearts i'm going to put this sideways sort of so the point of it's over here at the edge um because then we're going to put other hearts on it after we get the square on. I didn't do that edge there good, but oh well. And then this, and making sure I get the hearts right side up, <laughs> is about a quarter inch up from the bottom here. So, And you could use this side too if you wanted to, but I wanted to use the hearts. Because um, the first card I made is with somebody in mind. And then the second card is also going to be with somebody in mind, but it's a different somebody. And um, I changed the sentiments up on it because of that. So if anybody is interested in ordering, here's the January host code. It is below my videos now as well. And then this one, we're going to try and center it a little bit. So the, the top indent and the, the point is kind of hard to see on these doilies it's not a big big point but it's there so and i forgot to do something i think on this one i actually went around the edge of the lace with flirty flamingo just to make it pop a little more but it it's not that noticeable so it doesn't matter this we're going to put on dimensionals so put one there one here love my nails they're actually <laughs> i was gonna try and do something about them before i came on i ran out of time oops i like the color it doesn't go with what i have on though so i might be changing it before i head to the viewing tonight i hope it's one of those we i don't i, I don't know if it's going to be a service or if it's going to be just a go in and see the family you know that kind of thing I don't know. Don't know. I hope it's just the former <laughs> where you go in and kind of greet. And... <sighs> okay. Now, um, we're going to do our stamping. And the stamping is going to be a little different. This time, we're going to use Love You Lots. And that. It's out of a different set. <laughs> I think that's out of heartfelt. Yes, that's actually out of the heartfelt set. We're going to use love you lots. And then on the inside, we're going to put happy birthday. I don't want to say who this is for because um, I don't know if she'll watch. I don't think she'll watch today, but she might. So anyway, hi, honeybee stamping hive. So we're going to use real red 
And we're going to hope that Deb can get this in this pre-cut little rec um, square. And the square is out of the, um, the, the basic square frame, uh, not framelits, dies. Whoo, it worked. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Now I should have a piece of real red here, but I might not have cut that. So, oh, I think I changed my mind. I was going to use ribbon instead. So on this one, we're going to use ribbon instead of a, another square or rectangle. Yeah, it matches the cards, right? <laughs> I planned that on purpose. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So I think on this one, we're just going to go like this. Let me cut this at an angle and then we'll pop that little square up on top. I actually still think I want red under that though. Mm. Let me find a piece of real red. I think I still have some out. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not big enough. All right. Let's see if I have a piece here that'll work. It's not a very big square. Nope, that's too small. All right, we'll go ahead and look at all these scraps, huh? I guess I've been using real red a lot. This piece will probably be good. Oh, this one, this one, yay. And I probably should use another square, but all right, let me see if I can do that, if it'll work. layering squares all right so this is like it's not the smallest one but it's the next smallest one so i guess it would be this square next the thing i want to make sure of is that we're not taking i think that'll work i think that'll work okay we'll try it we'll try it i have to turn around i'll be right back <laughs> And here I thought I was prepared. Oh, well. I think we have some fun cards tonight, though. Okay. I don't know. Will that work? That looks almost the same size, doesn't it? Oopsie. I guess I used that one. So now I have to find the next bigger one, which I think is this one. <sighs> Maybe what I can do, actually, I think I'm just going to go like that. That's a plan. I like that. Okay. How about that? What do you think? That's a plan. So actually, let me kind of stick those together a little bit. Hmm. Put it up in this corner. My glue is kind of gunky. Gunky. Just go like that. And then we're still going to do the ribbon. And let's see. I have all kinds of stuff hanging off of me here. I'm going to go in the same direction. Okay, and let me get a glue dot or two. Thank you, Brandy. Drop shadows are good. Philomena likes it. Yay. <laughs> well, you know me. I don't like to waste stuff, so that works for me. And my measurements and stuff have been off today. Even it's just like this piece here. I had, I knew what the measurement was. I had written it down even. And did I cut it that way? Nope. Oh, well. Sometimes we have days like that, right? I'm going to bring this up just a little bit right to there. And then we're going to bump this up on dimensionals too. Maybe I'll use, eh, I'll use big ones. Because that will help hold that corner together. Maybe. 
<laughs> oh gosh well congratulations on moving i guess i hope that's a good thing and um you'll get there then you'll be able to get them out and organize them as you like right i think i'm going to sit that red one right on top of that maybe over just a little bit right on top of that ribbon so the white goes down that's not bad, right? It looks, here's the first one. I kind of like the first one better, but the sentiment was longer. And we'll still put some blingy bling on somewhere. And then inside, we still have to put our white piece. But we need to stamp on it first. Now this one, I used the Stamparatus to get that on correctly. I'm going to wing it on this one because I have it on a block here. Um... And we're going to use real red. I might just have end up flipping it over, you know. <laughs> Cute with the ribbon. Yeah. So there's a lot going on with this card. I would not call this a beginner card. Not even sure I'd call it um, casual. Stampin' Up! has three categories, like beginner, casual, and avid. Maybe it's a between casual and avid. I don't know. Ha oh, I think it came out okay. Woohoo! <laughs> that makes me happy. Yeah, Karen, you should do that. I always um I watch um Maria's miscellany and she's always saying, Well, I I have more than this, but it's in the garage, and she showed the garage one time with her bins of stuff out there. I don't have a garage, so I can't do that. I have a basement and I have cubbies up here that are stuffed full under the eaves like um that's about it okay well we just have to oops we just have to glue that down and then card number one is done 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 okay and what i did with this is i cut it so that it'll it has to butt right up against the the five eighths inch strip and it'll come right to here and that is approximately let's see inside white um, four and seven eighths inches high by four and one eighths inch wide these cards will all be on my blog on i'll say by friday morning I'll, I'll do them on thursday that's my new thing for 2020 also the blog will be updated thursday either morning or afternoon whenever i'm back or haven't left yet from visiting my mom because thursday is mom day Oh, thank you, Philomena. I think it came out okay. Oops, except the glue made it slide. We don't want that to happen. There we go. All righty. So we have texture. We have layers. I think it's cute. And we have two different sentiments. This one's actually for a challenge. <laughs> and it says, happy birthday. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. And this one is, and th these stamps are the, what I say, Peaceful Moments. Yes, Peaceful Moments, which is in the um, mini catalog. And so is the inside sentiment. And then the other one, the Happy Birthday I used on the inside is the same one as here. I don't know. I think it's, yeah, I think it is. Anyway, and then... Um, the other, the love you lots is out of the heart one, which I just lost already. Yeah, anyway, how do I lose things so quickly? I don't know. Oh, it's right here in front of my nose. Yeah. Love you lots out of heartfelt, which is also in the mini catalog. So that is card number one. We like, we like, I like. Another thing you could do is save, I saved this strip and I thought about pushing this up higher and then putting another layer here. That would be cute too. Or even just putting it over the edge of this. Maybe I'll do that. That's kind of cute. Turn it over though. Just going like, I think I'm going to do that guys. One more little step. I'm going to glue that right over that edge there so that it, um, the edge isn't so sharp and we'll have a double uh what do you call it border double border 
but I was originally thinking, well, maybe I'll bump that lacy part up higher. And then I didn't. So anyway, now let's see if I can get that on straight. There we go. Cute, cute. I like that. I like that better. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Me like, says Brandy. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So that is card number one. Let me clean these up. Well, 1A and 1B. Put them away, except I'm going to need peaceful moments again soon, I think. Let me put the happy birthday stamp away so I don't lose it. This is the one that came in German before. And what did I do with the other stamp? Oh, it's on my... Oh, no, it isn't. I don't know what I do with the other one. And heartfelt, I have to put... I'll find it. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I'll put this uh, love you lots away, too. Okay. Alrighty, on to the next card. The next one is not so cheerful, guys. Um, but I need it tonight. It's a sympathy card. And uh, what we're going to use on this one is... I'm out of room. Oh, we forgot to put blingy bling on. Hang on, we're not done. We're not done. Sorry. I forgot about these. These are the... From my heart, faceted gems. Nobody yelled at me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me get this glue put away because it's oozing out the end. And it's almost empty. I'm trying not to use it except on delicate stuff. All right. We're going to get our take your pick tool out. Actually, we need that glue again. Now, let's see. Where should we put them? I think we'll put one up here again. And we're, well, I want to use the, oops, the real red. I think we'll use that little real red on the label. Let's see, maybe right here. Now it's not going to come out. There we go. I take the lid off. Doesn't work without the lid with the lid still on. Now, one thing I will tell you when you mail these cars because that's bumped up. Um, it's going to make your card thick. You probably have to mark it as non-machinable because I just got a card and you'll see this tomorrow. And there were three faceted clear rhinestones on and they poked through the back of the envelope. So, and I think they even had a paper in the card over top, like, oops, my glue sticking to it, my uh, putty. All right, one more. Let's see, where should we put one more? I think up here this time. And do we have a medium-sized one? Oops. It looks like we kind of have big and little. So we'll use a bigger one. I think we'll put it up here. That one looks more pinkish, doesn't it? That's okay. You were captivated. <laughs> uh, the next one's pretty too, but I wanted it to be a simple card. Um, and I don't like making these kind of cards, but oh well. I think that's better. That just finishes it. Just three little blingy blings. So yeah, um, make mark the outside of the envelope non-machinable. And maybe if you have a piece of foam or something, put it over it inside the envelope. Okay. This one probably too. This is the next one we're going to do. And it is on Thick Whisper White Pool Party. This is Whisper White. And then this is a tiny little piece of paper out of the Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series paper. This is the back of, I think it's the back of one of the papers. It's Pool Party on white. It's a floral. And I just used a little strip across there. Um, and then I use the scallop heart punch and I use pool party and I use this punch and I, I used whisper white and I did take 
You could use the uh, the thumb dauber thing, finger daubers, but I used a sponge and I just took pool party. I went around the edge of this just to give it a little more dimension around the edge of the white and around the edge of this white here. Um, this is the breathtaking bouquet. <laughs> Yeah, extra postage is probably what it'll, it'll be too. Unless, you know, unless you put them in um, a package that has other stuff in, which is going to be extra postage anyway. Yes, you'll probably have to pay extra postage postage if it's thick. Um, you know, really sturdy, thick. And um, okay, Donna, thank you. Um. Anyway, yeah, you probably have to have extra postage. Okay, so this is my the standard card stuff. So this is again vertical, so it's eleven inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. So this is four by five, and the white piece is um, three three and three quarter by four and three quarter, and I actually or on the original card, I stamped it first and then I trimmed it down a little bit, but we're not going to do that. Um, so, and then this with deepest sympathy is out of, uh, I think that's out of peaceful moments. Yes. With deepest sympathy, I again use peaceful moments out of the mini catalog, but what I put on the inside is out of flourishing phrases and all I and this is in the annual catalog all I used is this comfort and healing to you um, and the dot 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 didn't bother me I know that's supposed to be on the outside but we'll do dot 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 and then put our names our, our uh, signature and I did also use the subtle embossing folder both on this background pool party and on this scalped heart. So I punched the heart out first and then I ran it through the embossing folder. Okay. That's in the annual catalog. And the correct number now is 151775. Okay. Let me put that back. Get my stamps up here because we have to do some stamping. Okay. And then inside it's just... Um, I, this is all yen gone through the subtle and then this just says comfort and healing to you like I said okay so let me move that back all right so I already stamped that but it's too far down so I'm going to stamp it again and we're also going to stamp our inside piece so I have all the bits here okay Let's do the outside piece first with deepest sympathy and I need pool party out. It is a beautiful stamp. That is one that it's in the mini catalog, but I got it um, at on stage. It actually, they had a um, pay it forward giveaway. So what certain people got two stamp sets and then they had like 10 seconds to give one of them to somebody they didn't know. And that the lady at the table next to us gave me this one. So I was like, yay, whoo, so pretty. And I, I think there's a lot you can do with it. I didn't want to, I wanted to do tone on tone for this purpose. All right, let me see. I'm going to do it this way, I think. And hope that I can, there we go. Now let me wipe my stamp off right away which i cleaned my chamois it was really bad earlier today and also um on the other card i was using red and pink and this stamp and mist does help this is by stamp at stampin up to um it's in the annual catalog it does help get more of that red off than the chamois will do um, and i also discovered and you'll see that on the next card that navy blue has apparently red in it. So it comes off better with that. Oops, I don't know why I'm closing that. I need it again. Okay, so let's get the heart punch first. 
this would be the one without the scallop. I might have it too close. No, it'll work. It just works. Maybe. <laughs> May have to put a little crooked. There we go. Okay, so there's our heart. Okay, put this down. Now we're going to do the inside one while I have it here too. And these are pretty much your standard inside um, card measurements as well. Standard for an A2 card. I have to stand up, guys. Sorry. And these are red rubber. This one, oh, nope. Clean that one. I got ridges. I pushed too hard. This is not a chance where we want ridges. It's not ruffles. <laughs> I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper and test it again. Okay. Straight down. I think I had to re-ink my pool party pretty soon. I've been in re-inking mode. And I think I got that one crooked, but... <sighs> okay, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> We're going to have to get another one. Huh? Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you're prepared. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cutting another piece. I'm off camera, so I'm sorry. I don't have any room there to... Um, Make sure that'll fit on there. Yes, yeah, sorry. A little more border than I want, but all right. Cleaning it again. All right, we're going to try this one more time. I have to not push so hard on these red rubber stamps. Okay. I still got a little bit, but I'm going to have to go with it. It's not as bad. I have a little eraser thing I'll use afterwards. This one will not be the one going tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you for the thumbs up, peoples, that did. All right, let's glue this down, and then we'll do the front. Now, actually, before we do that, let's. this little square is for the scallop punch. And I think it'll just fit in there. The scrap. Yep. So, yep. Okay. That'll be for this. Really not happy with that. But I will fix that after. Or I'll put another piece of paper over it. I don't want to hold you guys up anymore on that. So did you all have a happy new year? Nice start to the year. I'm going to cut that a little shorter than I wanted to, but it's okay. It's all good. Okay. We'll set that aside. Now we have to do our beautiful bouquet stamping. Oops. Come back here. And this is a border, I mean a background punch, not a border. I actually think I'm going to leave it right in here and just ink it up here. Yes, it would if it was cut even around the edges. And I do save some of them for frames. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And also, sometimes... I say I cut the edge. This is too small, but sometimes they're if they're half inch or wider, I'll cut that ridgy off and cut a strip and save the strip because sometimes I use them in place of ribbon. Now that piece of paper is going to be smaller than this, so I want to get the big flowers in the middle and the big flowers like this image in the middle the most. 
but it can be over to that side. So I'm going to actually try and get more over that way and making sure I get that big flower. I just want to make sure it's inked up really good. And then we'll bring our Whisper White piece. And we will carefully, hopefully, drop it down. I got it just a tad crooked, but I'm going to go with it. Then I just rub it with my fingers and try and make sure I get all of it covered. And it worked perfectly during the day earlier, so we'll see. Ta-da! Yeah, a little. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm happy. <laughs> Hi, Rare Roo. It's Sarah. Did I get that right? I'm still learning some of these names. And this is the stamp chamois. I'm just bending it in half and cleaning it right here. And it is not perfectly clean but it's clean I rinsed it before I came on just always looks bad <laughs> okay all right so we can put that away now because I think that came out fine there's a little bit off in the corner here but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because we are going to take this lovely thing I keep putting my ink away <laughs> that's what I thought hi Sarah thank you for coming and joining us okay I'm just going to use one of these spongies you can use a finger daub or you can use a piece of the um stampin up sponges cut in six pieces I just happened to already have one that was with this color and I'm just going over the edges a little bit I don't want a ton of it on there just to give it a little more definition you all have seen this in like a bazillion times all over. I might give that corner a little more definition because it didn't uh, stamp well. Okay. Just want it to pop off the background, which is going to be pool party too, a little better. Make it a little darker around the edges. I think that's enough. Um, I'm going to do the heart also that we stamped with deepest sympathy on. And this will spread on this shaped thing quickly, as you just see I did there. So it's hard to do the curves without getting it to do that, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Rare Roo is in the... I think two of my challenges, one being the smash your small paper pad, I believe. And I can't remember which one the other one is. I have lost track already and it's only, we haven't even put the videos up yet, just the intros. <laughs> that's pretty sad. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do with that. Now I can put the ink away. So let's bring in our card base and this piece that's been done with the subtle. You're not going to be able to see that. I don't think I might turn it over because it looks like this side has a little more texture. Maybe there you're seeing it. Okay. And we'll glue this down first. Get rid of this glob of stuff on here. Can you believe it's 2020? I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Cannot believe we're starting a new decade. Where does the time go? Am I in screen? Not very well, am I? Oops. There. Okay, well, it's still a little crooked on the bottom here. There we go. Okay, 
and then we'll glue that down because we don't have any ribbon that has to be wrapped around. Oh, yeah. Smash that small paper pad embellishments. Oh, and the stickier side of crafting. Cool. My embellishments are done and uploaded. My stickier side and my paper pad are not, but I know what I'm doing with the paper pad. And I've picked the stickers out that I want to use. I just haven't um, done them yet. But they're going to get done over the weekend, I think. Or possibly Friday. I have to look at my calendar. I I reviewed my calendar this morning and made sure I was on track again. <laughs> The decade is 10 years, so this is the beginning of a decade. It's the last year of the 100 years. No, it isn't. 2020. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Last year of the decade because the new one. No, that's not right. That's not right. I don't know. I'm confused. We're going to glue these together, but we're not going to put them down just yet. So this is a pretty easy card to do. Not doing any coloring. I, I am going to put some Wink Estella here. And we'll put some bling on here. I'm trying to get this on straighter. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is a piece of the Parisian Beauty. And I was originally going to... Um, Flag it, but then I'm, I'm burying it under here. So I don't, there's no need to. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. The only thing that's bumped up on here <clears throat> is the hearts. And this, I hated to do this because the back of this paper is the scripty words in champagne foil, but I have more of it. So I'm into use my paper mode, or as, um, Kylie Bertucci over in Australia would say, love it, chop it. <laughs> love it, chop it. But I don't do, I don't follow, I don't chop it all up at once. I, I just can't do that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And that, what did I say that was called? That is called breathtaking bouquet. It's truly breathtaking. One in the middle. It's even prettier, I think, when you color it, but... That's for another day. Just didn't, um, sympathy card didn't fit with coloring bright colors to me. So, and I didn't really need two sympathy cards yet, but oh well. And then I'm just going to do um, Wink of Stella on this flower, but not any of the other ones, just to have it a little shimmer. I don't want it to be real super sparkly. And then we'll put some rhinestones on. I think my Wink of Stella is running out too. And I don't want it to come out in a big blob though. There we go. Okay. Now rhinestones and then we'll do we'll, we'll actually let's glue the inside in first okay we have that all together i'll erase that one little line with a special eraser i got off amazon which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't it is a nice watercolor stamp it is absolutely so and this one I do want to center a little bit. There. Well, it's a little off center, but it's okay. Okay. Now let's put our bling on. These are the holiday rhinestone jewels. And this is actually Coastal Cabana, but I think it's close enough to pool party. So we're going to use it because I hadn't used any of that color from the holiday rhinestones. And they, I believe, carried over on the web and are still available i believe <laughs> if i'm wrong don't get mad at me all right we're just going to put one up here okay that is our second card 
pretty. <laughs> Wing Stella in a jar. <laughs> this is a fabulous watercolor stamp or even colored pencils or even blends and just color like the main flower and not the rest and make it pop. That would be good if you had these um, stamped in black and then did or or another idea which I'm probably going to do soon is heat emboss the background stamp which would be a lot of embossing powder but if you did that in like gold or black even and then colored in all the flowers or some of the flowers to make it pop that would be fabulous and I will be doing that sometime but not tonight okay so that's card number two our sympathy card and this one I'll be using tonight sadly okay and the last card is Nick still here because she asked for this one. And it's probably going to take me the long. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where'd you go? Are you there? Oh, phew. What is what? Oh, it's not called Wink of Stella. Okay. Well, there's glimmer paste and stuff, but that's usually pasty stuff, isn't it? All right, let me put these in the basket. Um, okay, the last card, Mountain Air. Yes, Mountain Air. Now, I will be honest, because I was talking with Nick earlier today, and on this particular one, I'm not super comfortable doing this kind of stamping. Um, it's so, sort of new to me, so I did have to get some ideas for this one. And... Um, so I did go to the catalog and see this has this nice guide here. So Mountain Air is on page 52. And I used this one as my inspiration. They used the stitch nested label dies. I went with um, the layering ovals. And I think this is the largest or the second largest oval. It's one of those two. So, but what you do is you stamp on Whisper White first. Um, and I had to stamp one, two, three, four, well, a couple times. And I also had the die cut. And then you get the tree border and you stamp. And we're just going to do that. So this is gray granite. And the ribbon is also gray granite, which is right here. Okay, this is the oval size. I think it's the largest one. And this is the ribbon that I used, which is called textured textured weave ribbon. It also comes in granny apple green and poppy parade. It's really pretty. So we're using that. We're using Night of Navy, Seaside Spray, Pear Pizzazz, and Grey Granite tonight. So... Let me get the pieces. The first thing we have to do is stamp. Now, so what I did is I I did not texture any of these. Um, I already did cut the dot the oval out though. And you just kind of have to make sure. And I got it a little off center, but the trees are gonna go over here, so it'll look all right. So when I do my stamping, I have to make sure it's up high enough but not too high that I'm going to be able to see it through here. So what I like to do is kind of just put a pencil mark at the bottom and the top and over here and over here. And that way I sort of know where my boundaries are for stamping. Okay. Now it can go off the, to the left and right and it will because these stamps are long. But at least that gives me an idea on the height of where to put it. So the mountains, really, you want to go sort of in the middle. All right. So this is the mountain air. These are reversibles. And I have this one on a block already. Now, first thing I'm going to do is get a, a um, scrap of white. And we're going to stamp in Night of Navy. And then we're going to die cut it. And I think I have a scrap of white here somewhere. Oh. 
this is the last one I did, so I'm not quite as prepared for it, but we'll get there. We will get there. And I do, I definitely want to play with this one some more too, because there's another one in the catalog that was watercolor. I'm not happy with the size of those. We'll use this one. Um, there's another one in the catalog that I like that has watercolor and it's so pretty. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is new actually I think this might be the second year for this the granny apple green and the poppy parade so if you want this get it soon I have to take a sip of tea guys sorry gray granite is not really my color so I actually went to my papers and said okay what colors am I going to use and I pulled it out intentionally because I actually like smoky slate better, but I use it all the time. So I'm forcing myself to use the gray granite. It is, it does look nice. I like the ribbon. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it kind of looks like a muddy gray and I, I don't know, but I thought that would go good with mountains, right? Muddy gray. So anyway, we're going to pull out Knight of Navy first and we're going to stamp full strength these, this mountain range. And then we're going to die cut it because I didn't do that in advance. And I need a scrap because it's going to go off and I don't want to mess up my nice clean paper there. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're right. Okay. Um, actually, I don't need to be any particular spot on here because... Now, they, these are photopolymer, so, and I may bring in my, um, you might want to use your piercing mat or a mouse pad or something under them, especially the first time. There we go. Beautiful. Let me clean that off because I have to flip that over to use the reverse side for the background mountains. Okay. All right. So you see navy makes it sort of red too. Okay, so we just flip it over. And then this is the background. Um, but let me die cut this first and get it out of the way. And then we're going to bring in seaside spray. Okay, I bet that's going to be done on here. All right, so there are dies. This is a, um, a bundle in the current mini catalog. And they look like this, except I might have another one off of here. But this is the die we're going to use. So let me do that. Hi, Dawn. We're on our third card for the night, for the day. I keep thinking it's 7 something p.m. But it's not yet. <laughs> sort of feels like it. I'm just turning around to die cut um, some mountains. And I want to get them right. So sorry if I get a little quiet. That I didn't get time to do before I came on. Okay, and there they are. Pretty, 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 pretty. Love it. Okay, now we're going to actually use the card where I took the oval and I made pencil marks where my edges are. So the next layer, I want to be just above center. And it's going to be in, actually, here's a trick I learned. You have to go, you have to do your higher ones first, and you're going to stamp off and make them lighter if you want the same effect. So this one I stamped off in Seaside Spray, and then this one I did not. And then this one's in Night of Navy stamped off. So, and then this die cut went over top, and I just sort of offset them. So that's how I did it. Hi, Brina yellow green tint well that to me sort of makes a brown 
Yeah, I like the smoky slate. I knew that was blue gray, which is probably why I like that one better because I like blue gray. <laughs> Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for joining us, Crafty Lady Lisa. Okay, so let me get my stamp back here. Now, this is the smooth. This side is smooth. The side we just did to do this is textured. So these are the reversibles. And I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm going to have to stamp off in Seaside Spray. You could also use Balmy Blue if you don't have Seaside Spray. And it's a light color to begin with. But you just sort of want it, well, I did, to look like mist in the background, right? You know, I'm going to do it again because I'm not, actually I'm not because that's okay. It's going to be buried. So I'm going to put that above the tree, the um, middle, slightly, and I think over this way. There we go. And I probably should have put the pad underneath. Okay. That's okay, because this is going to be covered, but I am going to bring the pad in for the next, the next couple. Okay. So there's our misty one. Now we're going to do it again. I hope this turns out, guys, because this is only the second time <laughs> I've used this. The first time was to do the other card. Now I'm going to offset. I think I want to go this way to offset. And just a little lower. And go down. There we go. Okay, now let me clean that real quick. And see, here's the edge of our oval, so that's going to be okay. It's going to be showing fine. Now we're going to use Night of Navy. That's fine, Lisa, you can. I'm on earlier today than usual. And I, I'm not going to be two hours this time because I have stuff I have to do. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in Night of Navy, still using the back. And bring my stamp over. And but we're gonna stamp off with this too this time. And again. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. That has like a dot in the middle there. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty solid. Stamp off. Okay. And then I think I'm going to come back over this way. Nope, nope, right there. Let me see. Yeah, I think right there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. I'll do a recap of all three cards. This is the last card. That's a little darker than I wanted it, but I'm going to go with it. Okay. And then that's it for that stamping. And then what we have to do is glue this down. And this should be center or just a little bit below center, which I think we are. Let's see which way I want to go. I think I want to go this way. Like that. Okay. So we have to glue that down next because we're going to stamp the trees over it. <laughs> Hang on, let me make sure I get my placement right this way. I don't know if that's perfect. I'm not real good at dimension stuff. And you see, I have a piece hanging off the edge. Once that glue is really dry, I'll cut that off. Now, I used pear pizzazz. You could use old olive. You could use shaded spruce. You could use soft suede. Um, but I used pear pizzazz for the tree line. And so let me put that on my long block. And I'm going to clean this with Stampin' Cleaner when we're done. And here we want first the um, 
reversible side again, I think. Is that what I did? Yeah, I might have. I'm going to do the reversible side and stamp off, and then I'm going to do not stamping off. Thank you, Philomena. This is uh, kind of a new kind of stamping for me, so I get a little uncomfortable with it, but I'm trying to get more comfortable with it. <laughs> we'll just stamp off, and then we're going to stamp that right at the tree line, I mean at the mountain. This is sort of a background of the trees now. Okay. I'm going to clean that and I'm going to flip it over and do the details. Flipping it. It's driving me flipping crazy. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Dawn. And thank you, Philomena. Okay. And so we're going to offset this again a little bit. Not too much, though. There we go. That seems up a little higher to me than what I had done last time. Hmm. I might do another tree line here in the front just to get more of that grassy area here. Now, if there's a little bit that we don't cover, it's okay because we're going to put that sentiment over it. And I think we're going to move it over like this, maybe. And come down a little bit. And put another tree line in there. I'm making a forest. There we go. Yeah, I got that kind of dark there. Let's put this over here. Oh, well, oh, that's off the circle anyway. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I don't, in the, in the uh, catalog, the images don't have this white line there. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but it's okay. I'll figure it out another time. Okay. So that's all we're going to do with that. Then I actually stamped in pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz for this. I think I already have one done. Hang on. Yep. By the magic of video, I already did it and die cut it. I, I do want to tell you, um, with the die, when you line it up, you want to make sure these two little stemmy things are what you line up. Those and the point at the top. And then you'll get it pretty well on there so just make sure your tree trunks are lined up with those little holes there and it works just fine then the first time i cut it it didn't i didn't have it lined up just right and it was kind of you know just didn't look as nice okay so let me cut this extra piece off here and then we will start assembling i guess i'm going to need a new piece of paper on my um piercing mat, huh? <laughs> okay, and then here's our gray grin. Let me get this out of the way, and this out of the way. Although we still have to stamp the sentiment. So now this will just go over like that, and we're going to glue it on. Pretty, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let me glue that on. Try and get it on straight as straight as possible. Now this oval is a little bit off center, but that's okay because the tree is going to go. Actually, maybe we'll put the tree over. I glued the wrong side. <laughs> maybe we'll put the tree on the other side now because I glued it on the wrong side. <sighs> dab, dab, dab. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did cut the white just a little bit smaller than the gray. So it would fit good in there. And luckily it's not textured or anything. Um, now, let's see where we want the tree. That goes on next. I think. 
Which side? This side that has more room or still keep it over here? What do you think? I think the yeah, variation is good. I think I'm going to do it over here this time. Maybe down a little bit like that. Not down too much. Yeah, like that. Left. Yes. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> silly me. Oh, well. Good to be silly, right? And we just want that over at the edge. A little bit. And then we're going to bring in a ribbon. Let me snip some of that off. To get my ribbon scissors because the other ones will not cut ribbon without fraying it. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring in my snail and snail it across the front. Hopefully sort of straight. And I'm going to cover up part of the tree bottoms there. I'm having trouble with my getting my snail started, but I think it's user error. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it this way. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Okay. Maybe we're not going to use the snail. Never mind. We're going to use glue dots. I can't fuss with that anymore. <laughs> Left and right handed cars. There you go. And tell them Deb sent you. <laughs> no, that didn't go on. I'm going to put a few down the ribbon here. Put one on the back there. Oops. Stay. I'm going to flip it over. It didn't stay. There we go. There we go. Straight. Pretty straight. Okay. Now we can glue it onto our card front, which is also gray granite. Now I have a little bit of white sticking out this side here. I'm going to cut it off and actually... What I think I'm going to do then is go around the edges with my gray granite stamp and write marker. Uh, let me make sure there's no other white sticking out. Yeah, that piece is cut a little wonky there, though. Okay, that's the only spot. So I don't think I need to go around with marker. Okay. And we're just going to glue that down with white glue. It's a little bit in and... That's all right. Perfect. So it's like a, mm, maybe a quarter inch in on each side, but only about an eighth of an inch in on each, the bottom. Sad but true. What is? Yeah. <laughs> I probably would too, Dawn. <laughs> mm. Just like earlier, I said, you know, I knew what that measurement of that one piece was, and I cut it wrong anyway. Just one of those days, I guess. I don't know. I did something silly the other day, too. It's like, oh, my gosh. I hope I'm not getting the start of dementia like my dad. I hope I'm not. But I don't know. Because I do some silly stuff sometimes. Okay, so that is the card front before the sentiment. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And not that hard, really. Um, I think I have a different scrap for the sentiment. Yes. So here is our scrap. And we are using the sending you thoughts out of the celebration. And we're going to do the same one, which is, what's this I hear? Well, all I can say is, and then on inside we'll have congratulations. I did use this before when I did the lovely lily pad um, cards for the team swap. And my team swap cards that are coming back to me are in the mail to me. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll be getting those. So we will be stamping this in Knight of Navy. 
and hopefully we'll get it. I did this one on the first try. I'm like, oh, I hope I can do that again. And I'm going to leave um, room this side this time so I can flag it with the triple banner punch. Keep going on all the frame. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Over this way a little bit. There we go. Not too bad. I think I'm getting better at this. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dawn. I appreciate that. Well, I have to go somewhere after this live, which is not a fun event, but I wanted to look halfway decent. So I have black on, except it has a little color with it. But anyway. All right, I'm digging out my oops, triple banner punch. I do want to snip a little bit off of this first, right about there. And then we're just going to flag it. I usually put them in upside down if the ink is dry to try and get it. I like to look at the corners of the paper there and there and there are guides and this just fits sort of right in the guide but sometimes if it's not if it's smaller than that guide or something i get it wonky not centered meaning and this helps me oops helps me center it usually okay try that again let's see if i did it it's a little bit too long i think let me do it again a little bit too long You see, that one's a little wonky. <laughs> After the first one, who knows? Is that better? That's better. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? And then that's going up on dimensionals. If you have foam tape, you might want to use that because this is a fairly long strip. And actually, I'm going to use two at the end, but then I'm going to use some of the edges on here and go like this and this and then I, I'll put two at the other end too I like them to be secure if you don't get them in the middle they bend in the mail I've seen it happen and I know other demonstrators use the least amount as they can but I like it to be secure because I don't know who I'm going to be sending some of these to you know all right okay so we're going this way now let's see do I want it all the way over there no I want it about mid tree I think I think I might put it up a little bit higher to cover up some of this white here this time Mid ribbon. I'm going for mid ribbon this time. <laughs> okay. Now let's do the inside. And then I think I want to put bling on here too. Okay. On the inside, I stamped off with the lighter color. Let me get my white piece. Make sure this is the right piece. Yeah. Uh, I stamped the congratulations in navy, but then I stamped off here with uh, a lighter color. So let me find my congratulations stamp. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Probably in the stamp thing. Nope. Oh, gosh. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? Oh, you know what else, too? There's little birds that come in this stamp set, and I got it out because I didn't put it on the first one. I thought I was going to put it on this one, but I didn't. I might still do that. Let me do that first while I figure out what I do with my congratulations stamp. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Okay. That's my trees. I think I had it ready to go on the block. But it wasn't on the block yet. Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. Well, we might not stamp congratulations. 
Let's do the birds first. I'll find it. It's probably again right in front of me or something. I don't know. All right, little birds. Which way do you go? This way. I could put them on the other one too. They're going to go right here. Boop. I like that. I'm going to do it on the other one too. <laughs> I like birds. Boop. Except in Alfred Hitchcock movies. I don't like them in that. Yeah, they, they scare me there. All right. I'm not sure what I do with congratulations. So I need to find that. All right. Looking again. I'd blame my cat, but she's not up here. Hmm. Well, we'll do the mountains first, and then maybe they'll appear mysteriously. But we need the seaside spray. <laughs> yeah, they are creepy. That movie from childhood. Ugh. <laughs> that was one of those, like, okay, I don't ever want to watch that again. I don't like scary movies. I, I like funny, or I like um, dramas and stuff, but I don't like scary. Okay, this is the textured side that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to use this edge. And make sure it's inked up really good. But I'm going to stamp it off. Actually, with this lighter color, I don't think I am going to stamp it off. Thought I did the first time, but maybe not. And I had to make sure. Oh, I know where it is. It's on my stamparatus. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Beautiful. Let me clean that real quick. I think it's on my stamparatus. Hmm. Now I'm not sure, but I'll check. I will check. Your kids are like like to torture you. Oh. <laughs> One time I had to, uh, my mother insisted I go to the movies with my brother and his girlfriend at the time. Yeah, here it is. On my Stamparatus. And it was a drive-in. We don't have drive-ins around here anymore, but back then it was. And they took me to see Night of the Living Dead. Oh, my gosh. I think I was like seven or something. I don't know. I couldn't, I had to be. Let's see. He was probably 16 because he was driving. So I would have been about nine. I was about nine. Maybe a little over nine. Anyway. I didn't want to see it. I was like covering my eyes in the back seat. And he's like, no, you wanted to come or mom made you come. Now you're going to watch the movie. He was mad because he was there with his girlfriend, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tag along little sister. So, <laughs> yeah, I never forgot that. And I never saw the whole movie either because it. All right. I think that's straight enough, probably. There we go. Ta-da. Let me clean that. Remember, I'm a fanatic about cleaning my stamps. Actually, I should have showed you the um, stamp cleaner because it works really good on the navy, too. The red rubber does clean better than the... Um, photo polymer though but it still can get stained after a while with the navies and the reds and things i'm going to take that off of there now so i don't forget where it is the next time and put that back in my sending you thoughts out of the celebration oops and we're going to put this one away in there too Ta -da. love this stamp set for birthdays congratulations thanks and feel better soon kind of thing or just sending a little something anyway nice stamp set in celebration if you're interested in that all right let's finish our card up here i didn't back this on anything we're just going to glue it onto the inside <laughs> dracula dracula got you no vampires ever yeah well when I was in school, this is a long, long, long time ago, um, there used to be an after-school soap opera. Now, I don't like soap operas, but I used to like to watch Quentin, who was Dark Shadows. 
back then. Oh my gosh. That was, and that was a vampire kind of thing, but it was different. It wasn't like a super scary thing. But all my friends were watching like General Hospital and whatever those other ones are. I don't even know. And um, not me, but I did watch Dark Shadows. Yeah, see, Stamp, Stamp Girl knows. <laughs> uh, Friday the 13th. Ooh, I don't tend to watch any of those scary movies. Okay, so we need to find some bling. So... Where's those ones I use for the other card? I put them away already. I think I have three Knight of Navy dots left. Let's see what else I have. Uh, hmm. Nope, none of the. Well, what's that color? Old olive. The old olive might go on it. What do you think? The old olives or the three Knight of Navies? One on each card. That one would probably not work too good, though. Let me see if I have another one of those. Hmm. That's Granny Apple Green. That won't work. Or just regular, maybe basic ones. I think basic ones, maybe. Angelique was the creepiest female vampire ever. Ooh. Yeah, Barnabas. I forgot about him. Well, Barnabas, yeah. I just like Quentin. Do green, one on one and blue on the other. Basic works too. Okay, I'm going to go with basic. Just because, I don't know. Because I'm a basic kind of person, I guess. <laughs> and we'll put like that. Oops, go on there. There we go. And I think I want it up here. I think we need five. I'm blinging it up today. I think we need five. There. That's the first one. And then here, we'll put one here, maybe. Day. And one up there. And usually I like to add, um, I think I'm going to go like here with this one. Usually I like to add a drop of glue. Did I lose one here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. Um, I lost a champagne one. See? Mm. Love the champagne ones. Okay, I think. That is it, my friends. So this was the Mountain Air Bundle with the coordinating dies. There's also trees, which I didn't cut out, which are not stamped. You just cut them out of the paper. There's a cloud. There's also, you can cut the tree line out, like stamp it and just cut it out and then have stuff behind it. And there's a single tree, which I didn't use on this particular card. So there will be more cards hopefully made with it. And I love the moon. On uh, some of the cards, they have these down further and have the moon peeking through, and I love that. But I didn't get it that way tonight. So let me bring in all the other cards. And again, if you're interested in purchasing anything, this is the January host code with me. Here's the sympathy card. And here is our birthday card. Well, two birthday cards. Oops. This one's going out for a challenge, and this one is going to a family member soon, hopefully. <laughs> I'll just put this up here because you can't see it, really. So I think they turned out pretty good. What do you think? You love the blue? Yeah, this is pool pretty. It's sort of a blue-green. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Philomena. Thanks, Dawn. I think Old Olive would look okay on it too, Clay, but I went with basic. Thanks, Paige. Thanks, Dawn. Thanks, Julia. Hi, Julia. I didn't see you come in earlier. I'm sorry if I missed you. 
So, yeah, those are the cards. These will be up on my blog by Friday with measurements. And I'll try and do them because I changed some of them up a little bit. I'll try and do like version A, version B. Because I, I have to do separate blogs for each card or they don't go to Pinterest right. So, it's kind of a pain. But I will do that. Thank you, Sarah. You were just lurking. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Yeah, definitely hit the like button. It helps my channel get noticed. Um, that's the reason I ask for that, even though like, I know it sounds rude and stuff, but I ask because sometimes people just forget and it does help my channel get noticed, which I'm try <clears throat> trying to grow. <laughs> Realistic backgrounds in the floral. Yeah, I know. I like it all. So, excuse me. I'm so sorry. So, but I am going to get off of here. We actually finished at 20 to 5. Perfect. That's good. I have an extra 20 minutes to get ready. <laughs> Relax a little bit. So, I will have two videos up tomorrow, but there'll be videos. And then I don't know if I'll have anything before the 15th, but if not, I have the 15th will be the next uh, big one. Okay. Alrighty, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Thank you, Brandy. Oh, I should type something in. Sorry. Oops. Bye, Paige. Bye. Bye, Nix. I can't spell. <laughs> can't spell. Still didn't spell it right. Oh my goodness. My fat fingers are not hitting the keyboard right. There we go. Bye, everyone. <laughs>